I went on the Funko shop this morning, right? 8 a.m. CST. That's the time that they was doing the whole release for Funko Virtual Con for ECCC. The one thing I wanted sold out in my cart. It's just, it's just unfair. It's just really unfair. Does Funko not care about the collector? After that, I really don't want to collect anymore. What's up, you guys? Chase the Dark Sage here. We are back with another video and another episode of Come Shop with the Boy, the series where it's kind of like a vlog, kind of like a hunt video. Basically, you get to see where I'm going, the stores that I go to, the things that I buy, and obviously at the end, we show the little haul that we get afterwards. But, you know, obviously today is ECCC as I'm recording this, obviously, and the virtual con happened at 8 a.m. I woke up at 7.30 a.m., waited by the computer, didn't get what I wanted, but that's cool, because I only really wanted one thing. I went from the gear for my friend Vasto, but couldn't get that. Couldn't get Ken Pine either. Kind of sad, but it's not the end of the world, guys. There's other things I want to collect. There's things that I need to get, obviously. Like, as you can see in the title, some manga, because I love manga. <laughs> if if Funko Pops let me down, manga never lets me down. So we're going to go get some manga. I got some figures, too. I got some figures yesterday. I got some manga yesterday that I'm going to show you guys today as well. And we're going to get some more manga. And, and we're going to get a figure today, too, but I don't know if I'm going to buy another one. But I already got Chopper from Hot Topic, so that one's straight in the bag. Obviously, when I get it, I'm going to do a review for you guys. I, me and Jerry are actually meeting at the Grapevine Mills Mall, so we can actually get another Chopper in store. And we can get Jackie Chun from Box Lunch. And I got to pick up my Ace Brandista Manga Dimensions. Since I ordered that online, I had a $5 off coupon. And it was cheaper online because in store it was like $60-something. Online it was $50-something. So I was trying to use in-store pickup with my $5 off coupon. So, ooh, the savings. But before we get into the video and before we get into the hunt, I got to say shout out to my Patreon pledges. For all the love and support that y'all give me on Patreon. You, got, you guys know that y'all deserve the world for helping your boy Dark Sage out. And you deserve the biggest Dark Sage hunt. So I got to say thank you guys for holding me down over there on Patreon. And I got to give a shout out to Broke Boy Gang because obviously if you bought anything today, you relate to this hard broke boy gang in the building aka notification squad because those are the people that look at the notification on the phone y'all scroll y'all click the notification and y'all see my pretty face and also if you haven't already go ahead like the video share the content 2021 i want to share the content out more don't forget if you haven't already hit the subscribe button and hit that post notification bell that way you know whenever i come out with newer and doper content as well and if you haven't already go ahead follow me on all my other social media platforms all my links will be in the description down below so Usually I clap my hand right here, but I don't have a free hand since I'm holding on my phone. So, mm, let's get into it. Go, right now we're at Hot Topic. Todd Ingram. Jerry, Jerry got the Todd Ingram Funko soda. Let, go ahead, everybody hit Jerry with bless Jerry in the comments. Bless me, see bless got, me, bless me. See if you got the chase. Okay, I'm just gonna look at the pog. I'm not gonna open the bag. That'll be too much trash. Let's see. Okay. All right, Chase, it's in here. Come on. The regular one. <laughs> okay, let's open another, let's open another. This is the one, this is gonna be it. This is the chase, I bet. Let's see here. Okay, okay, okay. Come on, Chase. Bless Jerry. Give me that chase Bless energy. Ah! <laughs> they didn't hit it in the comments no yet, that's hit, why. No hit. <laughs> they didn't hit it in the comments, I'm sorry, Jerry. Big L, big L, it's fine. All right, guys, so me and Jerry, Jerry's got pops. We just came from Hot Topic. No choppers. We was literally like, what, third in line? <laughs> Bef behind the person that bought all the choppers. Yeah, so. we were like one sad. or two too far back. Had to pick up a little drip, but still sad. So I'll show y'all what I got from Hot Topic because I did get some. The boy didn't leave empty handed. Mm -hmm. And anyways, I got a chopper online, so I'm not too stingy. Right now. We ain't mad. Yeah, so we're going to head to Box Lunch, get the Jackie Chun, and see where it goes from there. All right, so we just came from Box Lunch. We went to Hot Topic. Now it's time for the manga hunting portion of this video, the part that I really <laughs> have been wanting to go to. Yeah, the, you know, the Emerald City Comic Con manga hunt, right? That's what this is, right? <laughs> I'm going home. <laughs> <laughs> Emerald City Comic Con exclusive manga. <laughs> no, if they had variant cover some manga though, that would be dope. That'd be dope. But right here is anything so far. It's a lot.
All right, guys, so we have left Grapevine Mills Mall. Um, we went to BAM right before. Obviously, you've probably seen the clips. And uh, I bought only one volume of manga there because I didn't want to buy too much if I knew I was going to go to Kido Kaneo because Kido Kaneo, if you guys don't know, is a place that sells a whole bunch of, like, Japanese merch, a whole bunch of anime merch. And obviously, when I go to Kido Kaneo, I got I to spend, I gotta spend a little something. But I did get one pop while actually out hunting from the mall, which was the Jackie Chun. Uh, all these bags right here, yeah. I, yeah, mm -hmm. there's something wrong with me. But <laughs> all right, now I'm waiting for Jerry to actually get here to Kino Kania, and I gotta see if my boy Trell is gonna want any manga here as well, since he was looking for some manga here. But yeah, hopefully I can get some clips in here. Kino Kania is gonna be a little bit of a weird place for me to actually get some footage in. So if I can't see some footage in, I will. If I can't, you guys get why I can't because obviously holding the phone up, talking to it, it's kind of you know, people look at it weird, even though it's 2021. But yeah, let's go ahead and see what I can do. Guys, guys, <sighs> this hunt, if you can see what I have down here, it's, it's a lot. All right, guys, so I am back from my ECCC hunt slash manga hunt slash figure hunt and all that type of stuff. And if you guys do not know already, I hope you hit that like button for your boy. That way you can help support the channel for free, for free, please. Hit the like button, it actually does help. But guys, right now it's time for me to get into my haul. I am gonna be including some items I actually got yesterday. And I know some of you guys might actually be intrigued at some of the items that I got from yesterday. So I wanted to include them in this video as well with my ECC haul. Now, like I said earlier in the video, I did get Chopper online at Hot Topic. So I was able to get one, I didn't get two, I should've got two, but I got one. I thought I was gonna get another one in person and sadly, I did not get another one in person, but it's all right. At least I got one. That's the that's the upside about it. Downside is me and Jerry went to Hot Topic for no reason, except we got to see our favorite manager there. Won't say her name for obviously confidentiality purposes, but it was fun. The hunt was fun. The hunt is always great, especially when you're with your boy. Let's go ahead and get into what I got. So yesterday I went to my local bookstore. It's called a Half Price Books and CDs or something like that. It's not literally Half Price Books, but it's called something like that. It's called Recycle Books or something like that. But basically, Everything at the store is half off, especially the manga. All the manga is half off a of retail price. And I saw this bad boy here, right? <laughs> Woo! I saw this bad boy here. And I knew it wasn't going to be full price. It wasn't going to be retailing for $185 like it usually is on the retail market. But I saw it there. <laughs> and it was retailing for $99. And guess what? I scooped that bad boy up. <laughs> it's the Naruto third manga boxer right here brand new seal never been opened getting this bad boy for 99 dollars while it's on amazon for 135 while i'm recording this video right now i gotta say that this was a steal i had to get this bad boy i had to get this joint especially since if you guys do not know i really do love naruto i grew up with naruto just like i did with dragon ball z i remember when naruto first aired in america i never really got into actually reading the manga i mostly was anime only and the video games only but now i got the manga i do want to read over it just to see some of the differences and some of the pacing issues that i had with naruto shippuden because i like pre-time skin naruto more than post-time Time skip Naruto. While well, post time skip Naruto has some dope fights, pre time skip Naruto to me was better as a story overall. But right here is the third box set. I will be unboxing this on the channel. I actually post this on my community tab. So if you guys aren't looking at the community tab, you might want to look at that often. See sometimes what videos I might be having coming up next. Next up, we actually have a package from Amazon. And I ordered this figure because I saw that this figure was about sixty to seventy dollars online everywhere for retail and gratefully this was the last one in stock on amazon it was going for about 45 bucks or about 50 bucks and i had to scoop this bad boy up especially if you guys know how i feel about my figures obviously this isn't manga but he isn't my favorite character but he's from an anime i really do like especially a manga series i really do like and i only read the manga because the anime is so long but right here we got sanji from one piece this is the manga dimensions version of the grand vista right here there is a regular version which is obviously going to be cheaper it's going to be about 30 to 40 bucks but i got the manga dimensions version which is usually about double the price of that it's usually 60 to 70 dollars like at, at retail but you can obviously find some steals especially on amazon i recommend you look on amazon for grand vista manga editions or manga dimensions because they you can usually get them on a steal like the zoro i have right there that's a manga dimensions grand vista which i already reviewed on the channel but i got that bad boy for about 50 dollars which is a pretty good price considering that i could have paid 60 or 70 dollars for it but right here manga dimensions sanji i will be reviewing this on the channel as well like i said this bad boy is pretty dope and he does come with a cigarette so can't wait to open this bad boy up and put him right on the one piece shelf right here i actually gotta, gotta organize that up a little bit because it's looking pretty cluttered look at all the one piece figures i got look at the time that i spent actually reading one piece and look at all the figures i've gotten already so far look at how many manga volumes it is 
I can't wait for box set four. I need to get another shelf, but I can't wait for box set four to come out. But that's everything I got before the actual ECCC day or the haul day of today, because obviously today is March 4th. So let's go ahead and look at some more stuff that I actually got. Like, look at look at all the sweat that I got. Like, dog, all this heat that I got. Yeah, <laughs> it's just a whole bunch of heat. All right, guys, so now it is March 4th, as I'm talking about during this haul. And we went to Hot Topic, and the only thing that I wanted from Hot Topic was Chopper. The only thing that my boy Jerry wanted from Hot Topic was Chopper. Sadly, we were like the second or third people in line to not be able to get it because the people in front of us, they scooped them all up. Literally, everybody came to Hot Topic for Chopper. Like, why is Chopper suddenly so popular amongst everybody? Like, why, why, why? Come on, give, give your boy Dark Saints that Chopper. You don't really need that Chopper, y'all. Y'all don't really need that chopper. But nonetheless, I did get one online, so I'm not too mad about it. I'm not too salty about it, because like I said, I did secure one online. I just hope that Hot Topic ships it properly, I guess, because they are notorious for shipping it in a bag. But right here is the only thing that I got from Hot Topic. I didn't get any pops, because obviously you guys know that I'm kind of getting out of pops. Not getting out completely, but I'm not really collecting a whole bunch compared to like figures and manga like that. But I did get some drip, guys. So I did get this Yu Yu Hakusho shirt, right? I got two of them, actually, because if you guys don't know, Yu Yu Hakusho is one of my favorite animes. And who I got this shirt right here, first of all, look how look how clean this bad boy is. Look how clean this bad boy is. Y'all hating already. I can see that y'all hating. Had to get an extra large because I'm an extra large man. That's the first shirt. And I got this second shirt right here. And look at peep the drip, dog. This is drip. This is what you call drip. Yeah, whew, whew. yeah, that, that hot topic drip, right? Like that, that anime Yu Yu Hakusho drip. I had to get something Yu Yu Hakusho because Yu Yu Hakusho, like I said, is one of my favorite anime series. So I had to get some merch of it because I don't have any type of clothing for Yu Yu Hakusho. I do have a Hunter Hunter shirt and a Hunter Hunter poster, but I didn't have any Yu Yu Hakusho like merch outside of the pops and the manga. So I had to get something clothing wise. Your boy gotta stay dripped out at all times. All right, guys, so after we went to Hot Topic, we went to Box Lunch because there was another pop that I really wanted, and it was Jackie Chun from Dragon Ball. If you haven't watched Dragon Ball, it's a show that comes right before Dragon Ball Z. So if you want to see how Goku grew up, well, wait, why am I explaining this to you? If you haven't seen Dragon Ball, but you know Dragon Ball Z, huh? But I did go to Box Lunch to get Jackie Chun, and I also had an order for pickup in store because I saw this Grandista, right? I saw this manga dimensions grandista right in store but i also saw that it was online and in store it was about 60 to 70 bucks but i saw it online on box lunch's website for 50 dollars because they was obviously having it on sale on the website so if you guys don't know if you see it online on box lunch try and buy it online try to do pick up in store if they do have the stock in store or just have it shipped to you if you are a box lunch rewards member you get that one dollar shipping but i did buy this figure for 50 dollars. i also had a five dollar off coupon so that means i got this grandista right here 45 bucks and i can't beat a price for manga dimensions grandista for that price i'm trying to get all my manga dimension grandistas for that price sadly i'm not gonna be able to get the luffy because he's on the secondary market for like 120 something dollars which is crazy. I think that price is crazy. But I gotta get that boy Monkey D. Luffy because he is the future king of the pirates. But I did get somebody close to him though. I did get someone close to him. I did get his big brother, right? But I did get his big brother right here. Ace. Port Guys D. Ace right here. Ooh, that box, that, that box light's hidden. But right here, I got the Manga Dimensions version of Port Guys D. Ace. And I gotta say, that this is Luffy's big brother. I'm gonna say something that's gonna be very controversial to y'all. Wow. Before I say this though, let me preface it like this. When I was watching One Piece back in the four kids days, yeah, 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 y'all a little too young for the four kids days. Y'all don't even remember the four kids days. Back when I used to watch One Piece on the four kids days, Ace used to be my favorite character. In fact, in the dub, they used to call him Trace. Yeah, his name was Trace, not Ace. He was my favorite character within One Piece. But as I've actually caught up with One Piece, I actually read over One Piece and things like that. Ace definitely ain't my favorite character. He's not like the lowest ranked character in my list because there's people like Foxy out there, but he's not the lowest ranked character on my list. I just think that Ace is one of those characters that's super hyped up by the people. I'm not saying he's a bad character or anything, but he's definitely not the greatest character that people make him out to scene. But right here's the Manga Dimensions version. Got this bad boy for $45. I do like the little backdrop that it has with the uh, blue sky and the uh, clouds in the back. But the Manga Dimensions version, definitely reviewing this on the channel as well. You guys know how much I've been loving One Piece ever since I caught up with it. So right here, Manga Dimensions version. Don't forget to check out the Twitch channel where we actually read the newest chapter of One Piece every single Sunday whenever they do come out. But right here is dope. I got two Grandistas for 45 bucks. That's already $90 right there. So that really hurts my pockets a little bit, but it's all right, it's all right. 
we gonna recover and recoup from that somehow because I have been selling some stuff out of my collection. There has been some things you might see missing or if you check my Instagram, you would have seen that I've been selling some things. But there is some stuff that actually fund the collection from the collection itself, so it's all good. And like I said earlier, I did get the Jackie Chun. Uh, it's pretty dope. I mean, as a Dragon Ball fan, as a long time Dragon Ball Z fan, I do enjoy this pop, especially since it's not the exact Master Roshi character. This character actually does look different. The one thing I do hate though, and I'm gonna hate this about Funko Pops, it's really gonna make me not want to collect Funko Pops only because it's gonna run my OCD wild, is this profile 3D render of the character right here on the front. I hate it, I hate it, I completely hate it. I think it's super ugly. Compared to the characters right here, where we have a 2D portrait right here of the character in the front, we have this 3D one right here. I hate it, but this is the ECCC 2021 exclusive right here. This was actually not selling, I guess, well on Bunks at Box Lunch or on the website of Box Lunch because there was plenty in stock when I went to Box Lunch and I got him so easily. Like, I didn't even want to try and bother to get two to get one signed. Like, if I get this one signed, I'm just cool with it. Usually, I like to get two versions of a pop. That way, I can get the one version, keep it clean, and the other version, I get signed. But I really don't care, especially with this 3D render of the box. It just looks so ugly to me, in my personal opinion. But, I mean, you guys can have your own personal opinion, obviously. So after getting all that stuff, my ECCC hunt was basically over, right? So I thought to myself, let's 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 go get some manga. Let's go to Bucks a Millions. It is at Great Vine Mills Mall. So I thought I might as well go, you know, pick up some manga, pick up a few volumes, one or two. I don't know, because I knew that we was gonna go to Kino Kinio right after this. So we went to Books a Million and I saw everything and I thought to myself, hmm, there's no sale happening. I could definitely save money if I just buy a few volumes I need here and there. The few volumes I am going to buy is going to be retailing. It's going to be the same price that it is on Amazon. So I'm not going to be losing too much money. I'm not going to be saving too much at all either. But I did get one volume of manga. And y'all going to call me a nasty man. If you guys have watched my Half Price Books hunt with my boy Jerry as well, you would see that I got a whole bunch of this one series for a great price. Well, I didn't get the whole series. I got most of the series, but I didn't get the whole series. But today, I actually completed that series and I am officially the nastiest man on YouTube that collects Funko Pops, anime, merch, manga, all that. I'm just a nasty man now because I got this whole series and I cannot wait to read it. And I got the first volume of Prison School. <laughs> for all my nasty men out there, Y'all know what I did. Y'all know what I did. I, well, well, I mean, I bought this for research purposes, obviously, because y'all thought I was going to read this, like, for fun. Like, no, 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 no. I'm reading this for research purposes. Like, I can't even show y'all the back because I had to show my ID when I actually bought this. It is wrapped in saran wrap because, obviously, this manga is for those who are older of age. But if you do want to check out the anime, you should go on Funimation.com. Not a sponsor, but if they do want to sponsor me, I'm not obliged to that either. But if you do want to watch the anime, Prison School, I think it's a really great anime. I give it an 8 or a 9 because I think that the anime does great with what it is. But Prison School Volume 1 right here. I need two more volumes to complete Prison School. So you guys know what I did when me and Jerry went to Kino Kaniya, right? Y'all know what I did. So me and Jerry went to Kino Kaniya. <laughs> Uh, Jerry, should I, should I just do it? Should I just do it just to get it out the way? He said you might as well. You guys know what I had to do. Y'all know what I had to do. I had to buy the rest of the missing volumes of Prison School that I do not have in the collection. Now I have all the Prison School. <laughs> oh, 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 um, for, for, for research purposes though, for research purposes, I gotta actually study the anatomy of writing a manga and with women and uh, uh, Please, please thumbs the video up. I don't, I don't know. I also got this right here because this is a Shonen Jump magazine. My boy Trail told me that they're not really producing this in America anymore or in English. So I thought I might as well start collecting these just to have them as a novelty type thing. Have them on the bookshelf somewhere. Have a whole Shonen Jump like bookshelf. That would be pretty dope, especially having uh, the weekly Shonen Jump series just all on the bookshelf. I don't know. I got to start collecting them because I used to get them when I was younger, but obviously they don't produce them in English no more. So it's a little harder for me to get them. So I went ahead and got this. It was like $5.99. So didn't really hurt my pockets too much. And these prison school volumes was like $20 each because they are thicker volumes as you can see <laughs> thicker volumes but yes these bad boys are thicker than your usual manga right here i also bought one more thing for myself from kino kinia and i gotta find a way to cover it right here but i did buy this <laughs> from kino kinia i can't show you the full cover because i won't get paid on this video definitely i will get demonetized i might get a strike on this video but i cannot show you the full cover but you can just look up the, the manga name and you can look at the cover for yourself but i did get this cover right here and this manga it is a spinoff of Prison School, and I wanted to get it just to complete the Prison School set because I want to see what this additional read might entail for 
my research purposes, obviously, for, for my research. I got to see what it's going to be talking about so I can learn how to write and formulate manga better. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and show you some more stuff. Now, while I did go to Kino Kaniya and I did buy myself some stuff, I also had to hit my boy Trello because he has been looking for some Japanese manga right here. And I had to hook him up. I told him that we had a Kino Kaniya buy me. I think he saw one of my videos as well, so he knew that there was a Kino Kaniya buy us as well. But I did pick him up some manga as well. And I'm going to show you guys. Obviously, I'm not going to open it because it's not mine. It's his. So, but I got to say, Trail, you really came up on some stuff. And you might also be a nasty man as well for the Samurai 8. Right here, I bought him the exact same Shonen Jump volume. He was looking for one. I wish I could have found the One Piece Chapter 1000 one because that would have been definitely a dope one to have in the collection. But I never found it. My boy Jerry's got pops never found that either. But right here, we got this uh, Shonen Jump magazine like I showed you earlier, $5.99. Not too bad. And like I said, he also got some more manga right here. And it's a lot right here. Right here, he got, I think, Samurai 8. I think it's by the same creator of uh, Naruto. Uh, Shippuden and all that but Samurai 8 by Masashi Kishimoto I believe and right here he has volumes 1, volumes 2, volume 3 and volume it's, it's really hard to hold it. I'm sorry guys volume 4 as you can see all these volumes are in Japanese right here and I do love the Japanese manga covers they are super super dope sadly obviously I cannot read especially since I'm a dub watcher so I can't even read English volumes of manga so him getting a Japanese version he's a different man for getting these but these will definitely look dope on his shelf definitely gotta see what his what his collection looking like as well and he also got these manga volumes of One Piece I don't know which numbers these are because I'm not buying One Piece I'm only buying it in the box set because obviously I'm gonna get a way better deal and if you guys have not seen that link that I put for the box set for go ahead check my community tab But right here he bought some volumes of one piece right here I gotta say I really like this one. This one is super dope, but like I said, it's all in Japanese So I guess he's gonna keep it for novelty purposes I don't know if he can read Japanese. He hasn't told me that but I had to get it for him because I know he's a huge one piece fan He loves one piece like he was he was pressuring me to get into it A lot of people were pressuring me into it and I gotta say I thank y'all for that but guys, that's about it for the haul right here. I gotta say, this was a very hefty haul. Well, I didn't get a lot for ECCC itself with the con pops and the exclusives. I did get a lot of other stuff. But if you guys did enjoy the video, go ahead, drop your boy a like, share the video as well. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and hit that post notification bell. That way you know whenever I come out with newer and doper content. And also let me know your favorite item that I got and let me know what you got for ECCC. Hopefully this video comes out the same day of ECCC. If not, hopefully it comes out the next day. I don't know. I'm, I try to stay on top of things like this. But guys, that's about it for the video. Dark Sage out. Peace.